Tucks and Tails. <laughs> Joined by two times world champion. Bit hot and bothered. Yeah, I'm sorry. Glenn Durant. Yeah. Firstly, how does it feel having that trophy in your hand? Well, it's not real yet. I've literally been dragged from pillar to post there <laughs> and uh, I'm very hot and bothered. I'm thinking of Mark McGinney right now because, I mean, this is the kind of game I'm sure he had darts to win the match, but that's, For yeah, and, and I, it's a bit like the Paul Hogan thing once again because, you know, you stood back thinking, is, am I going to lose here? Uh, God, I think that match had everything. Yet yeah, I'm so disappointed that when I came up, I went, is that all my average was? Because I think darts was the winner there, and uh, if people didn't enjoy that, then we might as well pack up right now. You've took the words out of my mouth there. I was sat there in that press room. At one point, I had my head in my hands for both players, and then the next point, I was off my chair for both players. Darts was the winner there. I know you've just won the World Championship, and, yeah. but as a sceptical yeah. spectacle, it, 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 it was one of the greatest games of darts that stage has ever seen. And I, I honestly will say that. I, I, I've been involved with the Martin Adams game, and uh, even, even at six each, two nil down, I was looking for reserves. I was looking for something that could get me back into that match. And I couldn't help but think, but I knew why you lost that Martin Adams yeah. game. I was never, ever going to win that match. <coughs> wasn't ready to win that match. And there was somewhere, somehow, after Mark missed that, you know, so I was never comfortable. I think the last leg might have been a 14, 15 data. I was snatching and pulling, and I've just I've got a lot of luck on my side right now. And you know, Jim Williams could be sat here, Mark McGinney could be sat here, and uh, yeah, but I, you know, I take away the 100 grand, so. Yeah. That's another thing I was going to say. Let's reflect on the week you've just had. You've beaten your best friend in Jim Williams. Yeah. You've came through a semi final against Scott Waits. Yeah. And you've just gone oh, in a game where, you know, it could have gone either way. It yeah. honestly could have. And at some points you showed your strength, yeah. and at other points he showed his. And it, it, we'll go back to it again. That was a game for the darts fans, that was. It was, a, it was a man trying to break another man's throw, and a man trying to hold his throw as, as, as hard as he could. Mm. And you could see there, I mean, both of you, whether, whether inside you're having fun or not, it, it, you both, there was so much respect. Yeah. Every checkout was just for determination. It was just a build-up and a build-up. And a, the, it, for it to go to a tie break just crowns off this lakeside yeah. tournament as a whole. Oh, wow. I mean, we, we called it Fantastic Friday, you know, the quarterfinals games. That was pretty special. I really wanted to beat Scott Waite because, you know, he, he owns that stage. And uh, the only thing that, that disappointed me with Scott was his, you know, what he talked about afterwards, that he should have won the game. And I thought he could have showed a bit more respect mm -hmm. after the match there. But I'm full of admiration for Scott Waite. I sat here very emotional when I beat Jim Williams and I'm incredibly emotional right now to, to even be holding this trophy right now. I realise I've had a lot of luck. I would say that my bottle had gone in that match. You know, you, you, you talk about bottle and, you know, it was only when Mark McGinney missed the match darts that something inside me, you know, I found something and uh, I learned, you know, you learn so much from defeat and uh, I'll continue to learn. But right now, right now I'm just... Yeah, I'm a super, super happy guy. I won't keep you much longer, but one final question for me. After the week we've had and the emotions we've both been through yeah. on these two stalls here, yeah, yeah. is that I understand you've won it before and the, great, and the greatest one was winning the first one, but how close oh. does this one come to the, the, the pinnacle of your it career? Was, it was never going to be better than the first one, right. but that has just superseded it. Do you think so? Yeah. I, 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 I can't even begin to describe my emotion there. I didn't fall to the floor because, you know, I didn't want to rub that into Mark yeah, because yeah. the guy should have been shaking my hand. And, and, and again, that's what a dark player's thinking about. I'm going for the winning doubles thinking, how do I rea react here? Uh, you know, the emo I've gone through every emotion out there. My wife's there, my daughter's there, my family's there. I've gone through every emotion. But, you know, in the end, I am holding the silverware and... Uh, God, wow, it's really special, really, really special. Mate, well done. Oh, Two-time world champion, Mr. Glenn Durant. Well done, you. my friend. Thank you so much. It's been a great week. Thank you. Thank you.